All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to plant, and I'm going to plant multiple tables today. I've grown these seedlings uh, in the, our Rockwell Grow Cubes, available on our website. And all you want to do is when they're ready to go, just pop the Rockwell Grow Cubes with the seedling in it straight into a basket like that. And I'll do that with all these. And then I'm going to plant my mini salad table, my mini tower, and my vertical salad table and my salad wall. I think I should have enough seedlings here to do everything. Let's get cracking. Well, um, looks like grass, but it's actually uh, it's lemon grass. So I've never tried this before. We'll give it a go. I've heard it's pretty good. And if you choose, they're fairly thin. I'm not quite sure how lemongrass is supposed to be. I'm just going to squeeze those two together and we'll pop them in the basket. Just make sure they touch the bottom. The same with them. Get a nice bigger bunch there. Because these seedlings are so big, they're a bit of a pain because I've got to um, try and get them apart from each other without wrecking them. Anything that's too small, uh, you can give it. You can give it a go if you like, but um, I'm not going to worry. Well, these guys. I accidentally grew some roof crop once. I thought they were. So, I thought thought they were beetroot leaf, and I ended up getting some seeds that were beetroot put them on the farm and they grew fantastically look at that see how it works it'll probably just fill up the basket too much that one definitely will with three of them in there because I'm pretty sure they get quite big anyway I like to experiment got a heap more in here oh there yeah I'm not quite sure how they're going to turn out that's already split now I think they're probably meant to go in the ground Some nice parsley. It's not really much now. I'll double up. There's a couple of single ones there that aren't really much good. A couple of nice bunches. I think these didn't get the light as much as they should have because of all the, the bigger plants growing over the top of them, as you can see. Pretty big. Look at that. That's oh, couple of nice little bunches there. They'll come out quite good once they're growing. I always grow my own seedlings. I um, just grab whatever seeds I like from the local hardware or nursery. If you don't want to grow your own seedlings or you think you have problems or you don't think you have a, a green enough thumb, then it's really easy. You just go down and buy some dirt-grown seedlings from your local hardware and wash the dirt off and stick them straight into these baskets and then they'll stick into well they'll fit into any model cellar table Going here so nicely. This is my second most favourite part of my cellar tables, and obviously, my favourite part is taking them out. Here, I've got some cress, and you can see that those seedlings are really long, they're way too old, or as in, I've left them in there for way too long so just so I can prop them in the basket properly if I just put one in 
it may just fall out of the basket pretty easily if you get a little bit of wind around as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze two of these together, get all the roots in there, make sure they're at the bottom, and just pop that two of those in there together. And it'll give them a little bit more support so that they don't fall out of the basket once they're in, the, in your salad table. Got some nice dill in here too. If you've been watching my videos, you've probably um, seen that I'm a bit of a fan of dill. Look at those. They'll get so thick and be beautiful bunches, unlike anything you can buy in the shops. Honestly, I'm actually going to put two of those in there together as well. They'll make them stand up nicer. And if you find you've got some really leggy plants, really long, that are going to be hard to stand up on their own, just I've just got two of these grow cubes. I've left them together. If I pop them in there and squeeze them in the hole, it'll give them really good support, and they'll just stand up nicely in your salad table. How easy is that? In about half an hour I've planted my mini salad table, my mini salad tower, the vertical salad table, and also our wall, our salad wall. How good is that? Looks beautiful. These are just going to prop up over the next couple of days. They look so nice. Awesome. Alright, I'm Dennis from thesaladtable.com.au.